Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we have uploaded a very good problem on our channel and that's a rolling coin problem. It's a pretty hard problem but it gives you a lot of insights into rigid body dynamics and angular momentum. And there are many questions in IITJ and other examinations that has this kind of flavor. In fact, in if you remember 2016 IITJ advanced and there's a question in, from the same concept. I'll just give you a little bit of hint here how to solve this problem and then maybe you can try and then I will definitely urge you to go to our channel and watch this video and learn a lot of things there. So let me tell you how to fix this problem. So this coin is rolling and it is also going in around this circle. So if you take an axis here, there is a omega here and that's what the question is asking. And since it is rotating in counterclockwise, so there is another omega in this direction. Okay, you should just find out the relation between omega and omega, how omega is related with omega and that you can figure out with the condition that there is no slipping. Okay, so without slipping, so you'll find some relation and then you should see that the, there is a torque acting on this disc. Let's say if this is the disc, then there is a torque acting on it because at this point P where it touches the ground because of the weight mg and also there is a pseudo force here which is m omega square r prime and r prime is nothing but the distance from the axis to the center of mass of the coin and these two are creating a torque and that torque is actually in the z direction let's say in this direction and then you need to find out the torque due to the angular momentum so dl by dt and just to give you a hint the if you see here the angular momentum is in let's say in the two principal axis let's say i and the other principal axis is j so angular momentum vector is l i i plus l j j find out the l i in and l i is i i omega i and l j is i j omega j and you already know that i i is just half m r square and i j is 1 by 4 m r square and then take the l x so l x is let's say if this is the l i so take the LX, LX means in this direction, let's say this is X and this is Y. So compute LX and then torque will be, Z will be in DLX by DT. And then equate this torque with the torque here due to the, the forces, external forces, and then you should get the answer very easily. Try it out, uh, but I would really urge you to go to the channel and watch this video in detail. There is a lot of learning and a lot of concepts that could get clarified and you will do definitely better after watching this video. So thank you very much. Subscribe and gain access to concepts and tips for doing better in IIT, JE or other examinations. Keep up the great work.